So I'm, I'm always busy looking for some inspiration. About a year ago, I was on a call with one of my friends and he sent me a link to this painter's website called Miss. So I had a look at her website and let's just say, this woman really has some talent. So naturally, I contacted her and we had a little bit of a chat. And I must say, until this day, her work remains an inspiration to me. So after a while, I realized it's not actually just her work that inspires me, but it's actually Miss herself as well. You see, this woman is so down to earth that she's pumping everyone around her full of energy. And the best part is, she doesn't even realize it. And that is something I can really admire. Okay guys, this is Mies and uh, you know what, let's, let's actually do a cinematic intro. greatest adventure? It is definitely, not a doubt, not a doubt. <laughs> okay, so uh, I absolutely love these. Um, where do you get your paint from? Tell me about it. And um, do you have like specific colors? I see this, uh, I expected way more to be honest. I am a bit um, understocked at the moment, uh, okay, so, so you weren't, you weren't so incorrect in saying I'm, I'm that not, there's I'm a lot going on. Okay. No, no, no. Um, but this is my go-to paint brand. Okay. Um, it's Celtrol, and what I love about it is that it's locally made. Um, okay. So I visited the factory where they made. I know the guy personally makes them. Um, okay. It's quite nice to have a direct line of. Um, oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. Interaction. Do you get like a loyal customer discount? I get, I get a, a little bit of a, like a little bit of loyalty like customer discount, okay. but I feel like perhaps we should address that in this video. Villain, <laughs> come on, guys. Come on, Villain. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask you a series of 20, 10 questions. You can decide if you want to answer it long or short. And uh, the goal of this is just to get the, uh, the audience to, to know you a little bit better. Cool. What do you do for a living? I am a contemporary South African artist and I like to pick, paint ordinary things in a new light that might give people a fresh perspective on it. Uh, what was the first painting you sold and when was it? first one was right after my matric art exhibition. We had to exhibit the work that we made throughout the year at the end of the year. And um, one of the kids who was in matric with me, his parents actually came and asked me if they could make me an offer on one of the pieces and I sold my first piece. Okay, my next question is, what is on your screensaver? So, um, my screensaver is actually a photo of when my husband and I was dating. I lost the bet against him and then the outcome was that he would be able to print the Nicholas Lowe t-shirt for me. <laughs> and I had to be seen in public with it. And who, who, who is Nicholas Lowe? Nicholas, don't, don't make me go there. <laughs> like, I don't really want to give my opinion on him, it's just not I, like... 
a brand that I see myself associating with. Because he printed the Nicholas Lowe t-shirt for me, I lost. And if he'd lost the bet, then I would have printed a Jonas Brothers shirt for him. Um, but the gentleman that I married ended up printing the shirt for him as well. So we walked around in public with our two fan girl and boy shirts. And it's one of my favorite memories. If your dog could, uh, could talk, what secret would he tell me? My dog would probably tell you that I think I'm good at saying no, but I actually really suck at it. If you could spend 10 minutes with anyone in this world, who would it be? Steve Boss. And I think I would ask him a million questions. If you could be the main character in a movie, what movie would it be? Um, that's actually quite an easy one, because I really, really love nature and animals and the idea of being superhuman. Um, but I would be one of the avatars in Shape of Water. Way of Water. <laughs> Avatars, yes. one of the avatars. But one of the one of the water ones. The way of water, I think it's was the second movie called. If your life had a theme song every time you walk into a room, what would it be? I know I'm gonna regret saying this because it's not super deep. But um Rasta Drute has the song Send Me on My Way. It's the Ice Age song. Oh yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> if you could have any superpower, what would it be and uh, what would you do with it? I'd probably like to fly, but I wanna fly really fast. Um, and I don't want to teleport, it has to be, I want to fly there. Okay, where, where, would you, where would you end up? Where would you fly to? I think that's the whole idea, you don't would have to commit, like you could go everywhere. Uh, so, um, so it's like a cinematic type of flight? Yes, yes. <laughs> we'd go see I places. Would, and, and the routes or the flights would definitely part of the, be part of the perks. Oh, um, scenic routes. <laughs> I think my my best part of it would be to uh, just skip the traffic. <laughs> <laughs> what is the one thing you can't live without? I can't imagine life without the room to be wrong and affording that room for those around me. The idea that all truth does not have to originate from who I am, like there's truth to be discovered outside of my opinions. Yeah, I can't imagine life without that. What is the strangest compliment you've ever had? I don't know if it qualifies as strange, but it was kind of sudden and unexpected. Um, but I was in the gallery last week and a gentleman came walking up to me and he stood in front of the painting that I was busy with and he was really quiet for a moment. And then he said, you are an amazing colorist. And I just felt that compliment wash over me. It was amazing. What is something you can't do even to save your own life? I certainly cannot, under any circumstance, dance. Okay, so here's the big question. What are we painting today? And can I get it for free? <laughs> <laughs> I, I honestly have no idea how to even respond to that. <laughs> Spontaneous. <laughs> no, really, thanks, thanks for your time. Uh, I really appreciate uh, you uh, allowing me to come see your art, explaining your art to me, taking me in, and be, being so friendly, friendly towards me. Um, it's been really great. You've you've learned me a lot on a psycholog psychological <laughs> level, <laughs> which is actually what we came for, right? Um, I must say I'm really inspired by by your art, and I think one of the best things we have as artists is each other. Um, sure. So, I love the fact that you're able to inspire me 
not even having the same art form than I have, that I have. So um, I hope I can some way, someday do the same for you. So really, thank you for taking me through this. Thanks for the studio shot as well, or shoot as well. Sure. You know, um, most things in life, and here we come again with the deep stuff. It only the has, deep stuff. It oh, only, you love the deep stuff. I love it. I live for it. <laughs> but it only has value because you can share it. Like, I mean, if yeah. I was isolated here in studio, it wouldn't mean as much as being able to share yeah. it and invite people in. And yeah. that's obviously part of what we're doing now. And I love being able to share it. So thank you for listening. Yeah. It's been good having it's, you. It's, this is like a, a, a cool introduction to kind of a podcast as well. <laughs> Sitting around a table, just discussing life. <laughs> life <laughs> and think, art and how I they intertwine. We've it's spent, one thing. We spent in total probably like nine hours of doing this Ew. for something that I'm probably going to make 20, and it, 20 minutes and, of. and it's been in a heat wave, guys. Uh, a heat it's wave. Been, a massive heat wave. We've been dedicated. Guys, a little knoll. Guys. <laughs> yeah, that is each of these one I did. Hey, guys. Uh, if you're ever going to Stellenbosch in uh, South Africa, feel free to uh, go visit Miss uh, Art Studio. I'm going to leave all the links to her uh, Instagram and her accounts and as well as the address where you can go visit her studio uh, down in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this inspired you as much as it inspired me. Uh, it's been a real great uh, adventure for me. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.